Hi, I'm Bill from Bill's Tools, and today I'm going to be checking out the Harbor Freight's Pittsburgh Quick Connect Compression Tester. Let's open it up and see. I have not used it yet, but I do generator work and different kind of work on engines and whatnot. And I want to see how this operates. Let's move my fan. Get out the box. So, in the box. All right, so the Quick Connect Compression Tester by Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight diagnoses worn piston rings, burnt valves, and bad head gaskets. Ideal for high performance vehicles, boats, and motorcycles. It'll easily reach obstructed plug ports. Works on most vehicles. It's got a 24 inch hose for easy reach. That, yes, that's, that could definitely be 24 inches. It's got three 10 and a half inch flexible adapters. It's got an M12 by 1.25 long reach, an M10 one inch standard or I'm not even sure, M14 by 1.25 standard. Large, easy to read gauge with rubber impact jacket. So the jacket should protect the gauge if it falls or anything like that. Pressure range is zero to 300. A push button release. Hopefully this wasn't a Harbor Freight return because it's a little gunky here and a little rusty here, but this has been sitting in my basement for probably three weeks now four weeks now I bought it with a 20% off coupon a little while ago this is the item number 62622 now there are two different models out there there's one with a red case and this with a black case I'm not sure really what the difference is but a lot of people complain that these gauges are about 30 off I hope not on the Harbor Freight website. That seems to be the average complaint on these. So first things first, we'll do the compression test. We're gonna have to pull the spark plug. This is just a small little engine here, but it's perfect for what I'm trying to test at this moment. Spark plugs out. Put this on to the side. Now I'm going to be using, yep, that looks like it's the same size threads. But I wish because there was a way, if need be, to get a wrench before the flexible, but they didn't make it come out far enough. And when you ha if you have like a Honda Civic or some car where you have recessed plugs, when you're tightening from up here, when you're doing it over and over again, what's going to create, stop, the pressure we're putting onto here from causing the hose eventually to break off. It's our quick connect has a little valve inside so now before you do a compression test it's important to know what your engines compression is calling for so this is an 8kw it's a GH 410 engine and my compression is supposed to be 190 psi plus minus 10 to 15 percent so now, before we even start, I can go as low as 161 at the 15% and as high as 218 PSI. Now, if I'm going 10%, I can go as low as 171 or 209. 
tell you the truth, the 10%, what does it matter? If, it, if I'm allowed to go 10 to 15%, it means I'm allowed to be as low as 161 and as high as 218. So, let's put this back in place. So I want everything to be how it's supposed to be. I don't think that would affect my compression at all because it's just getting air through the air filter. Okay. Here we go. So, 165, I'm within range. That's a perfect test right there. So, as far as I'm concerned, this compression tester is pretty good for the money. I mean, I paid 29 bucks for it or something like that. It, not even 29, because it was a 20% off coupon. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to test it out a few more times, but I mean, I know my engine's in spec. It's not at the 190 where I would like it to be. I am leaking a little bit. Let's see. But where am I leaking? I don't see. I saw a little mark on the hose when I first took it out. So... right here I'm wondering it shouldn't be no it doesn't look like it pierces but I could always spray it with bubbles and see if it bubbles but I mean I don't think it's meant to hold and not drop at all so I mean, we're using a connect but when you're done you let the air out let's do this one more time let's get it apart and see if it allows the air to go in but doesn't let it come out. Remember, 161 is the lowest. I'm almost 165. That's two cranks. I'm not gonna. The pressure won't go up if it keeps cranking. I don't think. I think that's. That's as good as it's gonna be. But still, 165 is perfect. So I mean, I can recommend this tool. Unlike the Harbor Freight pipe cutter, I can recommend it if. You're gonna use it maybe once and then, or twice and never again need a pipe cutter. But this one here, this is the Pittsburgh Quick Connect Compression Tester, the item 62622 from Harbor Freight Tools. And I mean, I do recommend it if you need a compression tester. I would like to know what others think of this compression tester if you bought it, if it's been accurate, inaccurate, if you're using it, if not, or even which is another one to check out which might be better than this one because to tell you the truth i don't use it often i don't really need it often but having a compression tester is important when you're working on engines so this way you can make sure that your compression inside is good so please leave a message in the comment box and let me know what you think of this tool if you've owned it now remember there's a red and a black case comes in this nice little black case here. I don't know if the red one has more issues, but people complained about the red one leaking a lot. This, I mean, that didn't really leak, but you're not gonna have a 100% super seal on it now. But 
thanks for watching click the thumbs up subscribe and definitely leave a comment on what you think if you've owned this or what you think of my video or even maybe what kind of tool you might want to see me review next till next time i'm bill from bill's tools i'm out